More than 40 gem, mineral, and fossil shows kick off this weekend. Dealers from all over the world are here in Tucson, ready to sell some precious gems and minerals. Nine on your side's Perla Shaheen is live at one of those shows at Kino Sports Complex with a preview. Perla. That's right, I'm standing in one of the many tents here at Kino Sports Complex today. And to my left is Tangerine Quartz, and to my right is this super rare rock. It's called Pink Amethyst. And if you look closely, you can see some bubbles that make it look uh, super interesting, but it actually just shows that it was formed underwater, and that's where those bubbles come from. So here's a look at some of the people stopping by earlier today. The Visit Tucson organization says that it's it's been planning this event all year. There are 40 shows this year, so uh, this year's event is a little bit smaller than the 50 gem shows that came in 2020. Regardless, organizers expect more than 65,000 visitors from all over the world with a total economic impact of $131 million. It's mother, it's mother nature. You, you, you can't help but be in awe and then get to have the whole world's gems in one area at one time all together. A couple new things to note for this year. The Tucson Gem and Mineral Show is back at the convention center after being canceled last year. This is also the first year that visitors can go to the Gem and Mineral Museum at the Pima County Courthouse. Now, if you want to catch a glimpse of some of these gem shows, you will have the chance. They're opening from tomorrow all the way until February 13th throughout the city of Tucson. So if you want to catch a glimpse at some of these semi-precious stones, you still have the chance. Live at Kino Sports Complex, Perla Shaheen, KGAN 9 on your side.